Chat Wednesday. Well, this and every Wednesday, we'll be having a guest to take us through the journey towards financial awareness. Today with us, we have Sally the Realtor. Welcome, Sally. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Carry forward. So Sally, famously known as the realtor, Sally yes. the realtor, <laughs> when, um, when did you get the realization that you need to get your money in order? Um, I guess maybe sometime last year, I was neck, okay not really neck deep in debt, but uh, it was a bad start. Like I, I think I, my lifestyle was, I wasn't able to finance my lifestyle. So yes, I got into a sort of doom loop of debt and yeah. I think I just said, you know what, I just need to get my life together. Yeah, I think that's where it started. And um, when you're talking about debt, um, what, what magnitude? Hey. <laughs> what, what numbers are we talking about? Well, okay, it wasn't ma okay, it's much because yeah, that was like more than 100 Gs. Oh, yeah. Slightly more than, okay, I, let me just be very conservative, but slightly more than 100 Gs, mm -hmm. yeah. So, <laughs> Yeah, so I was trying to pay my bills. Here, hey. it was just hard. And, and then, and then, yeah, and then you see now you already have recurring expenditure. Akini bado tu kuna i kidesh tu kina kwa ngalia ako at the back of you, on the back of your mind, you still have something. Very, very big. So how was the transition like? So where did you begin? So you have a hundred thousand as debt. Yes. And you want to get your money in order. Yeah. Where, where? Okay. Then you realized, okay, this is too much. I can't live live like this yes but where, what did you do to eliminate that debt or have you even eliminated the debt yeah so you see now the problem was um you have to keep on borrowing to cover more debt so that you maintain your lifestyle so what i didn't know is that i, I need to change my lifestyle to begin with so what i just did to just start i listed all my debts then got the actual figure and then now after that um, yeah, I decided I need to offset this debt one by one. So yes, yeah, so I go, I could get a lump sum, and then I would probably start with the ones that are always incurring interest in the yes. amount. Yes. Yeah. Would you estimate how long did it take you to just clear the whole debt, the whole amount? Because I was just doing the one offs. Okay, so I would get like good a lot of money, then just offset. So three months. Yeah, okay. I did three months. Okay. Like better part of last year, I think. But by the time I was realizing that and sitting down to actually write my debts, um, it was September, October, there about. Yes. So within the three months, what was very significant? What What was this thing that you learned while paying off this debt? Because above you know, it's it's in, it's in human nature. Every yeah. time you borrow, it's yeah. very good to hey. receive, but it's very painful <laughs> to actually get take it back. Yeah. And yeah. Um, yeah. like, what did you learn in those three months? What did you learn out of you know the whole experience? Of that? Um, did I learn anything during that time? No, I didn't yeah. learn anything. Uh, like I said, I was just thinking, ah, uh -uh, this does it does not make sense. Mm -hmm. So I just was just thinking about clearing it off okay. fast. I didn't want to start 2020 with a whole lot of things, you know, mm -hmm. bringing me down. Yeah, so I just decided, let me just clear. For the sake of clearing, uh -huh. I think I was going to start a fresh <laughs> yeah. But at that point, yes, I was just clearing for the sake of clearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, about changing anything, not really. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have to... Just to clear. Just I, think, to clear. I think one, one very important thing you've said, uh, you wanted to start 2020 at a very clean slate. Yeah? Yes. Unfortunately, when we think of changing our lives and just starting a new year, yeah. we should start January 1st. First, 2020. My theory, that's the problem with that is you're already inside the year. So if you if you if you're planning to start on a clean slate, yes. then it means you need to clear your problems way, way before yeah, first yeah. first 2020 yeah. or 2021, and hopefully this will help you just yeah. you know arrange yourself or prepare yourself for yes. 2022. But uh, 2021, 21. sorry. But um, what what would you tell someone who's in debt? What, what would you tell someone who's in debt right now? Um, so, um, I think now later on I came to realize, I think when I now joined Savo and there was this whole talk of financial independence, yeah, so that, that's when I started begin, like that's when I started knowing that you, it's a lifestyle, just not getting into debt and all that. So now it gave me a reason why I actually did that, so it, it gave me a reason, but for someone who wants to get out of debt, um, yeah, it's, it's something that, okay, for me it was it was just holding me back for, yes. from so many things. Like I felt like I could not do something because money would come in and I, I am moving this money to pay this debt 
to borrow. Uh, uh. So it's just like a, like a very, very bad doom loop. Yes. And for me, that was the main reason. I could not even think clearly. I could not think about what to do next. I could not plan for anything. Because you see, if you're talking about getting like 20 Gs, you can do something with 20 Gs. But if you're getting 20 Gs and putting it back into to pay something and then borrow again, my God, that that's just... <laughs> that was for me that for me that was bad yes so i think yeah. that's what we call a ratchet so you're yes. doing you get yeah. it goes back yeah, yeah. you get you go yeah, yeah. so do you think someone can actually live debt free yes so um yeah, i've really really tried to minimize my debt for, for 2020 i'm very cautious about what to do like if i if i really need the money uh, i would maybe just ask someone like my father or my relative you know just a small amount like if it's really really necessary okay. but um i guess the biggest thing that i've learned is get out, getting out of debt is more of a lifestyle choice because mm -hmm. you see most of the things that i, I was getting in debt for mm -hmm. were not constructive <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yes, yes they were not constructive so i'll probably get into debt to finance maybe some buying of clothes yeah. <laughs> um going out <laughs> <laughs> yeah. going for road trips uh, it's a very yeah. very bad habit so you see that that is bad debt but yes. if it, if I, I wish i was taking debt to probably do a business put put in money somewhere where i'll always generate more mm -hmm. but unfortunately that was not the case so um i think very many people when they think of debt they think of an alternative option yes. uh beyond what you have mm. so maybe if i could ask a personal question Within the period you're taking now, say roughly the 100,000, why you be paid a salary? And uh, did it mean that the salary was not enough? Or what what, what, what led to that judgment? Because very many people, I think, when they think of loans and just moving to, you know, yeah, the yeah, getting cycle, yeah, yeah. it's due to lack of a, a, standard, a standard salary. Yes. yes. So, um, how can I put it? So now, there are two things for me. I think I was just living way beyond my means. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes, because now I was I was in real estate and commissions would come sometimes, commissions would not come sometimes. So I was living the life of com when commissions are there. Okay, so, so when they were not there, the salary would not sustain yes. completely. Mm -hmm. So maybe by the luck who turn it down, I would still maintain I still maintain that lifestyle so that was bad so I had to always borrow to ensure that I still do ABCD yes yes but um, when you look at life and just generally the challenges mm. that not just the challenges or rather the experiences mm. that we mm. earn for uh, especially when you're young mm. is those road trips I think yeah. going going yeah. to going out yeah. uh, having parties going to the mall and picking out clothes yes that, that's an experience that you yeah. want to have especially if Thinking that you don't have a responsibility, but that oh, yeah, means you're, sure. not, you're not feeding your kids, you don't have, you're not supporting your parents, mm. so they're in a position to still support themselves. Yeah. How do you balance that? So how do you still live a little, mm. like have have the normal things in yeah. life? Because Manze, if you don't do it now, you'll do it, you will do it when you're married. So it's important to do it. Yes. So just living now, but still being able to be disciplined enough to 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 could you where this cut is. Maybe, maybe just having the discipline to begin with. Um, in most cases, you'll find you just want to have fun. It's very easy to have fun. Yeah, I think it's, <laughs> it's one of the activities I enjoy the most. <laughs> yes, apart uh -huh. from sleeping, but uh -huh. yeah, like it's so easy to have fun. So if you don't have the discipline, you get you tend to actually just be more on the fun side. Yeah. So, so yes, so just striking that balance because it's very important yes to just unwind and do things like those but if you need to go for a road trip you can plan one in three months yes. and you'll still go and you'll still have fun Mimi on the other hand it was almost every other week so you see now that that's the problem because yes. I didn't know when to say no okay. and when to stop Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I think within the environments that we are in, we are highly affected by the decisions that we make towards yes. our money. And um, I think it's it's important to be a bit more cautious. Know where your glass ends. Yes. <laughs> like you're yeah, just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so know know how much you have yeah, in your glass yeah, yeah. and how it will accommodate. Yes. Which might be a challenge because I think when you start your journey towards financial independence, yes. you tend to lose very many people on the way. Yeah. I yeah. think the people who you would party with 
long time mm. on a weekly basis yes. that you that are not there in your life today. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because of True. the mindset and <laughs> I think it's best to encourage them to come on board. <laughs> to come yeah, on board yeah, towards yeah, this yeah, sure. financial independence. Uh, uh, so I what 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 joy do you find in not having debts right now? What are those decisions that you couldn't make then that you're making them right now? So um first of all, just having peace of mind. I, I guess that's the most important thing that I've felt. Um yeah, just being able to move around eh not fearing somebody to like just calls to ask you for some money so you to, eh, that was that was bad but then at the same time um just the freedom to actually choose and plan i think i i really disregarded that in the first place because i'm i was pro uh work hard play hard <laughs> yeah work hard play harder play harder <laughs> yes actually work hard play harder but <laughs> Now, um, just the discipline. I, I think now I find I, I find ma- much more joy in being disciplined. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I think just changing your mindset on what you find fulfilling. Mm-hmm. So I get to plan for things. I get to. Uh, yeah, I get to spend within and within a certain budget that I've already created for myself, and that in itself is just fulfilling to me. Yes. yes. So yes. when you're talking about budget, how do you stay disciplined to the part? <laughs> so you get X amount for the month yeah. and you know this is how much I need to spend, yes. this is where I'm spending, these yes. are the bills that I'm paying, and this is what I need to save or invest. Yes. How do you how do you how do you achieve that? Um so maybe to a situation where we are forced to but but you no know, um yeah so just uh being able to allocate money uh for fun for miscellaneous activities <laughs> like shopping <laughs> yeah? yeah and then just being able to put money aside however small just money aside to be able to cater for a rainy day i at this point i'm not investing yet um i'm still thinking about what to actually do but i have i can put money for a rainy day yes. and and that's what i've tried to learn in the course of the year. Well, that was Sally's story today. Thank you for coming and taking your time to share it. Oh, thank you so much for having me. And I hope you've learned something from my mistakes. <laughs> yes, so maybe just a recap on what Sally has taught us today. Of course, plan early, live lean, yeah. and uh, live on a budget. Yes. But what I could add is slow down. Don't okay. rush. Well, thank you, thank you very much. Of course, I said we'll be having this every Wednesday, starting this Wednesday. Please share your stories. We want to hear from you. We want to know how your financial journey is. And of course, share this video, like, subscribe. And see you next time. Bye. Bye. Welcome to WCW. We chat Wednesday. Well, today we're going to have a guest, Sally, the realtor, with us to tell us more about her financial awareness journey. Welcome. Thank you so much. Sally, what did you do?